for the sixth time ever, welcome to the Tic Tac Doe Tournament of Champions. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to the season six uh, Tic Tac Doe Tournament of Champions. Glad to have you with us. We're gonna have an awesome time. I can feel it right now in my bones. One of the eight players that are in the tournament is gonna win a fictitious one million dollars plus a $50 cash bonus on Friday at the end of this. All right? But we're going to start our quarterfinal games, and it's underway. The first game we're going to be doing in the circle spot, he has won three games, and he has won a total of $153,696. It is Brandon Martin. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Brandon Martin, hey, how you doing? Good, Ronnie. How are you doing today? Good, good, good. Are you kind of nervous? Uh, actually, I'm not, Ronnie. You're not nervous at all where you, where you should be. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there, Ronnie, on this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. All right, good luck to you, Brandon. Have a good time. And... He was in our tournament last year. He's been on the uh, huge call ever since we started this um, the huge uh, group. He has won four. He has won four wins, and he has a total of two hundred seventeen thousand three hundred forty-eight dollars. It is Justin Norris. Hey, Justin. Hey, Justin. Hello. So, uh, are you happy about Canada Day? Oh, yeah, I celebrated it yesterday. Do y'all do barbecuing? Yep. All right. Were you ready to play tic tac Doe? Yes. All right. The winner is going to go on to the semifinals, okay? The loser is going to play for a Constellation Prize, ho hopefully, in the Beat the Dragon game, okay? And I'll say more about that later, okay? For right now, here are the nine categories we're going to be doing in this first game of Tic-Tac-Doe. The quarterfinals, here they are. We have cartoons. Okay, we cannot have those categories up there, so we got to reset it. How do, how do we reset it, Brandon Scruggs? Uh, uh, Control-S and then Control-R. Um, Thank you, Brandon. How are you doing? Good. Control I may want to run the no uh, no intro version of it. That way you don't have to sit through that again. Right. We're just going to go... Yeah. Because we have to keep resetting the game board. <laughs> Here is the game board. Uh, it goes. I can run the game. Yeah, we're going to keep doing it until we get the right categories on the board. Here we go. <laughs> This should be interesting. There we there go. It only took two tries. Alright, so we have Canada. That's Justin's favorite category. We have the $10,000 question. Cartoons. Mixed U.S. cities. In that category, I'm going to type a mixed up U.S. city. You have to tell me what U.S. city that is with the letters scrambled up. That's all that is. We have NASCAR. The jumping category, 80s pop culture, secret category. If you choose the secret category, you're correct. We double everything in the jackpot, and we have game shows. Now, Justin, because you slammed me in the face and hit me in my chest really hard, <laughs> you're going to pick the first category. Which one? <laughs> you about it. He's going to Canada. Okay, I'm going to roll this die right here. You tell me when you want me to roll it, Justin. Now. We have a three. And we're going to talk about... this. Is, we're going to talk about Canada is discovered. Canada is discovered, okay? 
And here's your number three question. Who were the first Europeans to land on the shores of Canada? Was it A, the British, B, the French, or C, the Vikings? British. The British is wrong. It's wrong. The answer is the Vikings. The Vikings. They were the first. All right. So we shuffle up the board. Yeah. Open and I, oh yeah, I have, to, I have to show it to you. I have to show you. <laughs> I know what you do, Robbie. I have to show it to you. And I know what you did last summer. I know what you did too, Justin. <laughs> Sorry. I'm uh, <laughs> uh, no. Here it is. When it comes up, whenever you're ready. Right. I'm gonna try out mixed U.S. cities. You gonna try out your favorite category, mixed U.S. cities. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type up the mixed U.S. city. You have to tell me what city it is in 30 seconds, okay? I handmade these myself. From scratch. Go ahead. Vegas. Say that again. Vegas. R repeat it one more time. Vegas. Type it in, type it in, type it in. He's yeah, having some audio difficulties tonight. Yeah, he's... As well. Yeah. Said the last answer, that's correct. Good job, Brandon. You better get that one. Yeah, that's correct. We have $2,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle it. All right, Justin. Oh, uh, my favorite character got covered up. Yeah. Game shows. He's going game shows. Your question on game shows, here it is. On this 90s game show, contestants sat in reclining leather chairs and answered questions about pop culture. Who was it, whoever was in last place at the end of a round was pulled through a hole in the wall of the Fox Basement Studio. Name the game show. Is it A, Quick Wits, B, Remote Control, or C, Rhyme and Reason? Remote Control. That's the right answer. Good job. We cannot... Okay, okay. What's going on here? All right. We cannot add more people in the call. No more people. Okay, we have $4,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle it. Shuffle the board. <laughs> that was weird. All right, that was great. <laughs> Shuffleboard. He made it Shuffle funny. Board. Yep, here it is. <laughs> oh my <gosh>, <laughs> Chris. All right, Brandon. Which category you want? Well, you know what? Yes. Or mix U.S. cities. He's going with mix U.S. cities again. Second time in the category. And take a look at this next one. This, this makes U.S. cities is going very well. I'm pretty much that command doesn't work here. We need a bot for that. Hey, no worries, Justin. Oh my God. Let me make sure. All right, go ahead, um, Brandon. Do you know what that is? Oops. Oh, gosh. You're going to pass on it. I stumped you, didn't I? This is the answer. It's Greenville. All right. 
Greenville, from Greenville, North Carolina, okay? Ah, yeah, oh, Greenville, North Carolina. Ah, Scruggsy, but it got you. Yep, yep. Thank you for that. Thanks for that. Yep. There's also Greenville, South Carolina as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 4,000 is still in the pot. Let's shuffle it. <laughs> Just a noise. He's going Canada, okay. Uh, roll the die again. You tell me when you want me to roll it. Roll it. Roll it. We have a we have a three again. We have a three again. And this time we'll be dealing with exploring the West Coast. Exploring the West Coast. Here's your question. Um what river did Simon Fraser explore in 1808? Uh, the Pacific Ocean. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. The answer was the Fraser went River. It was the Fraser River. Yeah, Simon Fraser explored the Fraser River because it was named after him. Okay, we still have 4,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle it. Oh, you just got 30 to me. Okay. Here we go. Let me get this pulse. It'll be over Bart's head. What is going on here? Alright, go ahead and make your selection, Brandon. I thought I had Rodney got to Dory, so you know what? Let's do. How about eighties pop culture? You want to do eighties pop culture? Your question on eighties pop culture. In the nineteen eighties, if you turned on your television and saw the characters Tootie, Tootie, Blair, and Natalie, what show would you be watching? Is it A. Saved by the Bell, B. Laverne and Shirley, C. The Facts of Life? Or D, Family Matters? Facts of Life. Nicely done! Impresso. $6,000 is in the pot. Let's shuffle it. Alright, Justin. I'm blocking with Canada. You better make it count here, okay? I'll roll the die again. You tell me when you want me to roll it, Justin. We have a one. We have a one. So it's question one. We're going to deal with explorations in space. Explorations in space. Your question. What Canadian invention went on its first trip into space in 1981? A rocket? Let me get a Rogan on that. Can't take that. Not acceptable. The answer was a canoderm. A canoderm. If you would have said a robotic arm and stuff, I would have accepted that. It's not a rocket. So, we have uh, $6,000 still in the pot. Let's shuffle it. I had to Google that up. Here we go. We'll stand by. Go ahead, Brandon. Oh, man. Well, we're going to go Canada for the win. 
You get this question right on Canada, um, Brandon, you'll win $8,000 and you'll be going to the semifinals, okay? Alright, tell me when you want me to roll it. Here we go. We have a three, and we're going to deal with women in history. Women in history. And this is for Tic Tac doing $8,000. Is Emily Carr best known for her work as a doctor, painter, or politician? Again, is Emily Carr best known for her work as a doctor, painter, or politician? You have tic tac go! Yes. Oh. Nice work. Nicely done, Brandon Martin. You have won $8,000 and you're going to the semifinals. Congratulations. Wow. So, and that's going to take your winnings up to $161,696. And we will talk to you in a minute. Well, we will definitely see you on nine in a minute. We'll definitely see you on either Wednesday or Thursday game, okay? All right, well, Justin, you lost this game, but you're going to go ahead against that dragon for hopefully some Constellation cash. You ready to do that, Justin? Yeah. All right, here we go. You can win up to $20 here, hopefully. Let's open oh, the pack. Wow. Let's. $20. Open the package here. So, Ronnie, so what I'm understanding, if you lose, you still have a chance of winning money? Yeah. That's cool. But I will explain how. Coming out of the Ronnie 1279 bank. Yes. Out of my own pocket. Yep. Let's see. We're doing the Beat the Dragon game. All right, Justin, you ready to do the Beat the Dragon game? Yep. I think you won money last year, didn't you? Yeah. Come on, man, let's do the Beat the Dragon game. Oh. Alright, Justin. Now in the tournament version of the Beat the Dragon game, you're gonna try to get the ten thousand dollars or more before seeing this damn dragon. Or get the tick and attack. Now I'll explain to you what will happen here. If you manage to get ten thousand dollars or more in any of your picks. I will give you five dollars, okay? All right. If you manage to get the tick and attack on any of your picks, I will give you a ten dollar bonus. I'll give you ten dollars, and you'll win the prize package in the jackpot, okay? If you manage to get um, tick and tack on your first two picks. Of course, we'll double the jackpot, but I'll give you $15, okay? All right. Now, if you manage to pull all that off and get that $15 and get the um car, it's $20, okay? All right. So you can win $20 here. Now, uh, Tori, let's see what prizes he's in. Well, he can't even see the screen. I'm going to announce the prizes. Here we go. Wait, what? A seven-piece living room group. A bedroom group and sleep set. A dining group and dinnerware. Entertainment wall unit. A bedroom group. A barrel sauna. And those prizes are total 30. Oh, you can't see the screen. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm in here. Oh, sorry about that. I apologize for that. It's fine. It's fine. All right. All right, Justin, if you manage to get the ticket and attack on any of your picks, it's a $30, excuse me, $30,000 bonus. And a shy new car, do it on your first two picks. We'll double that bonus to $60,000. If you're ready to go, Justin, this is for money. Go ahead. I hate that bell sauna. <laughs> six. You said six? Six. Let's see what's the number six. $4,000, a nice start. Nine. He's going to do the 6-9 combination. Let's see what's behind 9. No! Bad luck, Justin. Yep, I'm sorry about that, Justin. Let's see where you should have gone. 
Well, you should have went to three for Tick and seven for Tack. But Justin, nobody leaves empty-handed in the tournament. We're going to give you $10,000 add to your winnings. So you have a total now of $227,348. Justin, thanks for playing our tournament, okay? All right. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll do our second game of Tic-Tac-Doe. Stick with us, won't you? Thank you. Thank you. And, and oh. for all of us, I'm inscribed right after this.